guys, this is going to be my top 14 products and things of 2014. I decided to kind of make it a little bit of everything instead of just focusing on beauty because I didn't just love beauty items this year. There was a couple things that stuck out in my mind like fashion and clothing accessories that I just really enjoyed discovering and wearing and having this whole year so I wanted to kind of throw those in here as well. Kind of some beauty and skincare products. Most of it is the beauty side but I did want to kind of change it up a little bit. So these are in no particular order. I actually thought this was going to be really hard to like find the 14 like standout stars from the year, but it was actually really a lot easier than I was expecting. I wish I could have included more than 14 because there really was so many good discoveries for myself this year that I really wanted to include. So let's just jump in. I'm going to start with the first thing being my favorite perfume from this whole year, and it was Elizabeth and James Nirvana. I purchased the roller balls, the black and the white, and absolutely fell in love with them. I ended up getting a full size of the black, a roller ball travel size when the holiday collection released, the holiday collections released, and then I ended up getting this in a gift set with a lip gloss. I just, it's just been a long time that I've been so happy and in love with a scent where I really had no other desire to wear any other perfumes throughout the year. I didn't discover these until later on in the year, but I couldn't not include these. They're just ugh, amazing. I prefer the black over the white, but I almost feel like I can't wear one without the other, so I'm probably going to eventually end up buying a full size of the white one. I had to talk about this because while it is kind of a little random thing, it really saved my products from being wasted this year and this is the little color lock tube key that I found at Sally Beauty after one of my friends told me about it and you just kind of put it on any sort of tube and then it kind of rolls up and you can seriously get every last drop out of your lotions and lip balms and lip gloss tubes and just anything in a tube form. I think it was $3 and this little doohickey is amazing. I've actually been using it on my toothpaste and it's you'll see some of the stuff here I, I had to pull out of my empties drawer because I just I hate wasting products so to have something like this where I know I'm getting every last drop out is just an amazing fancy little tool. One of the big standouts for me this year was the Hourglass Ambient Light Blushes. I ended up purchasing three for myself and these are just stunning. I have such a huge blush collection but these really they've kind of just become staples in my makeup and in my routines and I just kind of miss them when I'm not using them. I keep them in my rotation constantly. I have Diffused Heat, Radiant Magenta, and Mood, Ex Mood Exposure. This one probably being my favorite of the three. Really good quality. They make your cheeks glow. They make you look like you have that kind of glow from within. The consistency and the texture of them is super smooth and I'm just overall really really impressed with these blushes this year. I had to talk about teaks. I've definitely mentioned these in several other videos that, that I've done this year between outfit of the days and gift guides but these are product these are shoes that I've kind of been wanting to try for years. I've been he hearing so much buzz and seeing them all over the social media and on celebrities and I finally took the plunge and bought my first pair and two weeks later bought my second pair and then got my third pair and this is my recent fourth pair. They are just the most comfortable flats. They're still fashionable. They come in every single color. They're not shoes that you have to break in for a long time before they actually feel good on your foot. They're packaged so beautifully when you get them and they're just like marshmallows for your feet. I say that all the time. It really does feel like you're wearing slippers and you can actually go out of the house with them. So I had to mention these. Totally worth the investment. I'm kind of just always like looking to see what color I want to get next, but I really just love those and especially for somebody that lives in flats and wants a comfortable shoe that still doesn't feel like a slipper. Those are great. Another product that kind of was late to the year that made my favorites list is this holiday collection from IT Cosmetics. It's the Naturally Pretty Holiday Celebration Palette and it's a palette of all matte colors with the exception of this kind of little shimmery ribbon of color that you can add sparkle to any of the colors. I mean, I don't think I ended up getting this until November and it really was like the only thing I used on my eyes. I, even to this day, I'm just so, so happy and I feel like I've beat this horse so dead because I've told you guys about it so much, but I truly just love this palette and while it was introduced to me late in the year, it's something that's going to just continue 
all through 2015 and beyond. It's just such a beautiful color-wise palette and the, cons the consistency and the texture of them. They blend really easily. They're so natural and they just look amazing on the eyes. So this palette was such a huge win for me this year. I couldn't go without talking about the wet brush and mine's looking a little ratty. I do need to clean it out, but I used to be a huge Tangle Teaser fan and then somebody told me to try this and I haven't picked up my Tangle Teaser since. This has been amazing for Addison's hair as well. It's what I use on my hair as soon as I get out of the shower. I don't use a wide tooth comb anymore. This is just all I need. It brushes through any kind of tangles or knots. It disperses product through your hair evenly if you need to do that. But for me, it's just when I get out of the shower, it's nice to just comb through and make sure I don't have any knots or kinks that you know happened when I was shampooing. But I just really love this. I think you can get them at Sally Beauty. They're pretty inexpensive and just can't be without this brush. It's kind of been, I use it every single time I, I wash my hair. This was an awesome discovery for me this year. This is the Vichy Pure Thermal Calming Cleansing Micellar Solution. I featured this in a Battle of the Clen Cleansing Water video, I believe. You guys know if you've been watching my videos for a long time that I have been a loyal, loyal fan to Bioderma and I wanted to kind of test out all these other brands, products, because they've there's been so many popping up on the market and I claimed this the winner. I actually think that this is incredibly comparable, maybe even better as far as accessibility than Bioderma. I got this at Ulta. It's way easier to find if you're in the United States than if you live in Canada or the UK, which I know there it's more readily available, but it's an amazing product to take your makeup off. It cleanses at the same time. It doesn't leave any kind of residue, oily finish behind. It just really just feels like truly water on your skin. And I'm so happy that I discovered this product because it's just been so great and it's so easy. It's just easy to take your makeup off with. The Kate Somerville Exfolicate. This was a pretty expensive purchase, one that I'll continue to repurchase. I ended up getting it in a gift set and I'm still using the original. I haven't had to repurchase it since, but this is an amazing exfoliator. Again, I think it's an incredible investment. It sloughs off all the dead skin. It's a really great treatment for your face if you, you're feeling an outbreak or you're feeling that time of the month you have hormonal breakouts, it's a good spot treatment, especially if I'm in the shower and I have a pimple, I'll put it on and kind of go go about my business and rinse it off when I'm all done. It smells very cinnamony and it leaves behind a really nice tingle and I really think it's the best exfoliator that I've tried in a very long time. Okay, next I had to talk about my favorite kind of, it's hard to say favorite jewelry, but probably the, the piece from Cell and Dot and the, that I was most excited about released, that was released this year and kind of been a staple on my neck, around my neck ever since. It's the engravable line and I have the bar necklace with Roman numerals of my birth date and then I have the round disc with initials of Addie and Jake and then I also did get a little dog tag with her birthday. I love the engravable line because it's so personal and you can you can literally do any date, initials, name, meaningful, saying, quote, hashtag, whatever and wear it around your neck, wear it around your wrist. You can do so much with it. As a sneak peek, if you are a fan of Cell and Dot, then I'm happy to let you know that that engravable line will be expanding in spring. That video will be coming up really soon where I can share with you all the spring, new spring goodies from the line, but they do have a cuff coming out and a locket, which is so exciting. They're constantly expanding on that, and I just love it because whether it's somebody that's really important to you or an important date, I feel like you're gonna go through life and you're always gonna have meaningful people and meaningful dates and meaning, meaningful words and sayings always coming so you can kind of just keep growing your collection of engravable jewelry and I just absolutely love the whole concept behind it. So I wanted to mention that. This moisturizer was introduced to me this year and it's by Polish Choice. It's the Resist Super Light Daily Wrinkle Defense. I use this completely up and it lasted me a very long time. It has an SPF 30 and it has a very, very light tint to it. I use this as my daily moisturizer for months and months and months and months. I absolutely love this. I will be repurchasing as soon as my other daily moisturizers are used up. I just can't fathom like purchasing any more skin products. I just have like an overflowing drawer in my bathroom, but I absolutely love this stuff. It was great to just throw on if you didn't want to wear foundation, but you wanted to make sure you had some protection on your face before you went outside. It does give you a little bit of tint, so it covers slight imperfections. I won't say it covers acne or anything, but it's kind of just like an overall like, like evening skin tone product, and I was super happy with this. It's not oily, it's not greasy, 
this just was really great and the products that are in in this are actually pretty good for your skin so that's always a bonus this was the first thing that came to mind when I was starting to think about the products that I wanted to feature and this is the glam glow super mud treatment and I really truthfully could have showed you all three of the masks that I have because I have really fallen in love with the entire line which they've now I just saw expanded into uh, skincare, like actual daily skincare, which is really exciting. They even have an eye treatment, which I've tried, which is great. But if I had to pick all out of all the stuff that I've tried, it's definitely this one as the shining star. This is the Super Mud. It's amazing. It works. You see it work instantly. It's like been my go-to mask when my skin is just crazy or I just really want a good deep cleaning to my pores or... I have a, a zit that does not want to go away. I've been using it as a spot treatment. It smells really wonderful. It's just a really incredible product and I'm so, so happy to have discovered this this past year because I cannot be without it now. I also discovered some new tank tops this past year and these are not new by any means, just kind of new to my wardrobe. I was always the girl that wore the spaghetti strap tank tops or the like lean, long and lean tanks from Target and this year, especially in the summer, spring, summer, I discovered these from J. Crew, and I don't even know if they still sell these. I know that they were really popular and sold out a while ago, but they might still have them. These are the carry cami from J. Crew, but seriously, a lot of brands, pretty much every brand has their own version of this tank top. The thing that I love about them is it feels very silky, they're very lightweight, and the straps are just very, very, very thin little tubes, and the back is kind of like a racer back. They're just really easy, they're effortless, they're really comfortable in the spring and summer. I got it in several different colors. And then I also have a few here from Express, and Express actually sells similar versions, but they're reversible. So this one that I have is gray, and then it reverses on the inside. You can make it a black one. Again, that same like really thin strap. You have to be careful, though, with the ones from Express, because some of them... Because they are reversible, some of them are kind of like have a metallic finish on one side. I don't like those because they tend to be really heavy on. And the whole reason I love these is because of how weightless and like comfortable they are. So you definitely want to try to find the ones. And even these, like these are so much heavier than the ones from J. Crew, just based on the fact that they are reversible. So there's a little bit extra fabric. But again, that really loose, silky feeling. I have it in white as well as the black and gray. And they're just easy and they come in a lot of different colors and I just usually wear mine with a with a strapless bra. Sometimes I go without a bra on the darker colors in the in the summer. But I just love them. I saw an interview, I think it was Miranda Kerr wore one on Jimmy Fallon and I put the picture up on Instagram and if you're curious where other places sell these, um, check out that picture on my Instagram because a lot of people gave really great recommendations on other companies and brands that do them. But I just love them and even now in the winter time when I'm going out, I throw them on under a blazer or a cardigan and they're just easy. They're just, I can't stress, stress enough how comfortable they are and that's really why I love them and I feel like they're very sexy looking. They're not, they're not like cut straight across spaghetti straps like the ones that we had in high school. They're just, they have a little bit of a sexier lower cut to them. Um, the ones from J. Crew are cut a little bit deeper than the ones from Express. Like I said, a lot of different brands have different cuts. The backs are a little bit different, but overall, the concept, I just really love those. And number 14, rounding it out, again, another really late discovery to the year itself, but, but a product that I will continue to repurchase and use all of 2015. This is by Paracone, and it's the Hilo Plasma. And essentially, it's just like a hyaluronic acid uh, serum, gel, moisturizer. I love this, especially now in the winter time. My skin needs all the hydration and moisturizer that it can get because it's so dehydrated. So that's a really great extra little step that feels amazing going on your skin and feels even better the next morning when you wake up. Again, a very pricey, pricey product, but one that I would tell you to invest it because your skin will thank you. It's truly amazing. So those are all of my products, the four, all 14 of them. I will have a link below to every single thing that I mentioned so you can easily find everything. I hope you enjoyed this. I just want to take a minute and say that I am so grateful for all of you. I 2014, I think most of you know, was a really, really tough year for me, probably the worst year of my life. And 
just the support that I had from you guys all throughout the year and the support that I still continue to get even when I don't expect it or necessarily need it is just it just means a lot to me truly my year really did get better as it went on and I really attribute that to you guys and just the overwhelming support literally like every time I sign into YouTube or look on Instagram I just I'm it never gets old I don't take it for granted I just I'm so grateful and I'm so appreciative and I really just owe you guys so much and just a huge a huge hug and a huge thanks for just sticking with me and being so supportive and just being genuinely nice nice to a stranger that you've never even met I know I don't always get to respond to every single comment but I just want you guys to know that I read them all and I like my heart is just lit from within and you guys just keep a smile on my face even when it's kind of hard to smile so I really appreciate you and I just want to say that thank you for helping me along 2014 I've never been so happy to see a year go away I'm really even more excited for this new year and fresh start and I'm really hopeful and I'm just really excited to see what 2015 brings for myself and for all of you guys I hope your year is off to a wonderful start and I hope that you'll continue to stick around my channel and just be really great friends to me because I just I love you guys so much so thank you for watching this video I will see you in my next one and until then I hope you have a great day bye this is a solid shampoo I feel like I might have talked about this in a video before it smells like big red it's cinnamon and cloves and it's supposed to be really good for your scalp really hydrating it's supposed to kind of rejuvenate your scalp